Well, hello everybody and welcome to Micro Plugin Tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Bungie Cord on your local computer. As you can see right here, this one looks actually quite massive because we have two instances running paper. One instance running Bungie Cord, actually it's fork called Waterfall. And then I have two Minecraft clients and inside the game I can type in slash server and then I can use Bungie Cord commands to switch between these two servers right here. So if your computer is a bit older, this might not be the best idea, but what I'm wanting to do for this YouTube tutorial series is add a little bit about how to make a Bungie Cord plugin before I teach you how to make a Bungie Cord plugin. I just wanna show you how to install everything on your local server because of on your local computer because it is the fastest you're going to save so much time if you can debug your plugin your bungee cord plugin just as we did debug our paper plugin first things first head over to papermc.io click on the software right here and go and select the waterfall waterfall is a bungee cord fork which adds more configuration options and it just works better i also found out that it supports colors inside my IntelliJ or Eclipse terminal, should I run it directly there? So it just works better. Think about it as a paper fork of Spigot. This one is a fork of the original Bungie cord. So hit over to downloads and then click download the latest build. When you download it, we're going to be needing to put it somewhere inside our special folder. And I'm just going to call the folder waterfall. If you place it right here, we can just rename this and we can delete the version tag to run it easily. Now, you are going to be needing to see, I think my second video in this Minecraft plugin tutorial series, because there I'll explain how to actually launch the server. We're going to be having to use a special file called launch. And then the extension of this file is going to be different for Windows, for Mac OS and for Linux. I'm not going to be teaching you this file right here. I'm just going to edit it quickly. And then I'm going to just change a bunch of stuff. Yours are going to be different. Don't freak out. Again, you have to be watching the second video to download all these launching scripts. But then if you download the launching script, it should look something like this one. And then you should find the Java thing right here. And after after dash Java, just type in waterfall.jar and delete the no GUI argument. Save it and then launch it. Obviously, I already have this launched, so I have to close the old instance. And then... Yeah, it says address already in use because of the old instance. And then we can just close it by the X button. There we go. Now it's being configured for you. So first things we need to do is open up plugins. Now, first thing we need to do is open up the config right here. And then we need to configure the main port. So inside listeners, you have the query port. Yeah, and I think that one is the, no, you have the host actually right here as well as the query port. So these two ports are through which you will actually connect to your server. So inside my Minecraft window, you're gonna have add server, and then you can just type in localhost, or you can even go with 0, 0, 0, 0 if localhost doesn't work, and then simply copy this address after colon. This is going to be your waterfall server, right? If you have problems with it, make sure your firewall doesn't block it. If you install this on an external hosting, please refer to what the host provides as a port. Hit done, and now you should be able to connect when we start the server next time. That's the first thing you need to configure. The other thing is online mode. If you don't wanna use online mode, I don't use online mode for this video because I'm having two instances running without authentication just to show you guys how to, how you can connect with multiple accounts. Of course, I, I have purchased Minecraft, but I only have one account, so I need to disable it for now. You can have it online. You can have it on if you only want to use premium Minecraft servers uh, accounts. So that's the second thing. The third thing and the final thing is actually grouping all the servers together, which is quite easy. So here you should see something called servers. And here you should see something called lobby and then the address. So this one, we can actually copy, we can actually duplicate this entire thing as many times as you wish for each server. So the first server is going to be called survival. And that one is just called inside the folder that I have 1.20. And then inside this folder, if you open up the server.properties of your first paper server, you should see port somewhere not the query port, but the server dashboard. 25565 is the port you need to copy. And then after locate host, type the port right here. And then that one is going to be, I don't know, my first server. 
is the message of the day. Although this message will not be displayed right here. The bungee cord message. Sorry guys, I just tested something and I loaded the server and the, ser the config just got relocated. But anyways, guys, if you want to change the another bungee server message is actually right here under listeners and then MOTD. So this is what we're going to be changing bungee cord or waterfall server right here. So anyways, let's continue. This is our first survival server that we want to connect to. Likewise, I already have duplicated this folder right here inside my second 1.20 folder that hosts the second uh, paper server. If you open up the other server that properties, you can see that the server port I already changed to a very simple one, one, two, three, four, five. If, if that, of course, does not work, you have to make sure that your firewall does not block connections. If you have a router, and some weird configurations blocking connections. Unfortunately, I'm not able to help you have to just Google how to open a port on your computer. So this is my secondary port. Let me close that. And then here, I'm just going to be typing in my second server and then the address. I'll just keep localhost and I change the port. Save it, close everything, launch it again. There we go. And now it should say waterfall server. The reason it says twice is that I already have added it right here. So I can actually just delete the bottom one and then we can simply connect to it. There we go. And then if everything works fine, you can just hit slash and now you have access to bungee cord commands. So if you Google bungee cord commands, you can open up the Spigot MC link and you're going to see all of these special commands, which you can see these commands can, you cannot catch on your paper server. So if you listen to player pre-process command event, you're not going to be seeing these commands because the way it works, Bungie comes first, then it forwards data using packets to your paper server and your paper plugin is not able to see and edit the events on Bungie Court. That is why in the next video, we're actually going to be starting to talk about how to make a Bungie Court plugin. Anyways, one of these commands is called slash server, which is right here with an argument, it will transfer you to a specific server. So go ahead, type in server. You should see you're currently connected to lobby, right? Because the lobby is the second one. I forgot to change the name. I typically just call this the other server flat because as you can see this, it is a completely flat world. Anyways, if I want to change to another server, I can type in server and then just type the other server's name, or I can even, even just click right here, server. There we go. And now I'm connected to the other server. Please note, if you are not familiar with Bungie Court, if I connect with a secondary account, it will actually connect me to the flat server, which I don't want to. So the way you actually force it to connect it with the first server is you go ahead, you find listeners, you find priorities and you type in survival right here as means of the first servers that first server that players will connect to by default. So now that's the first thing. The other thing, if you're not familiar with Bungie Court, please note if I hit tap, you can't really see the other player because we're, we are actually on two different servers. So to link these two players together, we are going to be needing to use external plugins. I'm going to be showing you how to link players together using waterfall or bungee cord plugins later on in this series. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like, subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. And in the next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually make a bungee cord plugin. Now, we also have a full Spigot, Java and bungee cord training program called Project Orion not only will teach you how to create beautiful micro plugins, it has myself on there twice per week for having Zoom coaching calls so you can complete the lessons in your own time, but you can also jump on a Zoom call with me twice per week and I'm going to help you answer any questions. You can share your screen. You can even unmute yourself if you have a microphone. If you don't, that's totally fine, but you can un you can share your screen and you can have me sit with you with your code, get a review on it and help you out this way, which is really nice. And if you don't like the course, we have a full 30 day money back guarantee. So there is absolutely no risk. The link is in the description. Check it out after this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.